South Africa now, where the new COVID-19 variant is raising alarm globally. So just how dangerous is this strain and will vaccines work against it? Rosanna Philport reports. South Africa's COVID-19 variant is highly contagious, spreading rapidly and raising growing alarm globally. This new variant is highly concerning because it is yet more transmissible and it appears to have mutated further than the new variant that's been discovered in the UK. The one from the Republic of South Africa is a little bit more complicated. This is a very dangerous time in the course of the pandemic. I'm not happy with the, with the speech you... Where did it come from? How dangerous is it? And will vaccines work against it? The mutation, referred to as 501.v2, was discovered by a network of scientists around South Africa. First in Nelson Mandela Bay on the east coast, then spreading rapidly to the south and southeast of the country. Up to 90% of new cases are carrying the mutant variant, according to health authorities, driving a surge in infections that threatens to overwhelm South Africa's healthcare system. Our water food, it, it's a very painful situation because a person in casualty, if for you to get a bed, someone must die. While hundreds of COVID-19 variations have been identified worldwide, this one appears to spread faster. It's similar to the UK variant in that it shares a common mutation of the spike protein, which the virus uses to infect cells. However, they are different variants. The World Health Organization says they originated separately. And this one in South Africa appears to have a number of additional mutations. The one from the Republic of South Africa is a little bit more complicated because it overlaps a bit with the mutation in the UK, but it is a little bit more complicated because some of those mutations might have a negative impact on the efficacy of some of the monoclonal antibodies that are used. So we're looking into that very carefully. Pfizer and BioNTech's vaccine appears to work against both variants, according to early lab tests. But the findings are limited and authorities say it's too early to tell at this stage if the inoculations will be effective. Scientists are sure that the vaccines can be modified if needed in as little as six weeks. Now, in a related development, a government-run hospital in South Africa's capital moved patients to a...